So, um, also something else that comes with, it comes with this, and this is a variable resistor. It's just like a normal resistor, which I'll show. A resistor that resists current, but, um, you can adjust this resistor to change the the resistance, which is cool. So it comes with um, two switches. Um, comes with three capacitors, one of which is used right here. Comes with the crystal, which is used right here. And um, I like that um, since you have a breadboard and everything's sort of open, you can sort of play with it more and um, it's sort of more hands-on than most other kits so which is great because you can set up your own stuff like maybe a power switch and a power indicator and you can set up some full color LEDs like I have, I have this one from Radio Shack which is cool to have and um you also, if you want to um, add in other things from like other uh, electronics that you took apart, it's nice to have a soldering um, thing or whatever you want to call it. This isn't really an iron of any sort. Uh, it's called the cold heat. You can get it online and I like it a lot. It's, it works really well and it's like twenty dollars but it's good value and um also some tape so that you can use your near and kit projects with stuff like remote controlled cars that you took apart like i did and all kinds of other cool stuff so that can be useful to have if you want to go more advanced and um so this is a really great kit and um now I'll turn it on for you to see. So, hold on, is this switch? Okay. Okay, now that I have it on, um, well actually my screen is backwards, which is a problem because, um, the webcam settings got messed up for some reason, and now it, everything's a mirror which is really annoying because text is backwards so um try your best to read backwards now it's on and here's the LCD it should it's displaying the temperature in Fahrenheit Celsius and Kelvin and I modified the code to do that and um so the LCD is really great I like it. And plus, I'll show you the backlight. I um, set this variable resistor just to the right resistance so that I could plug it in. And see, so, you now it has a backlight. Now it doesn't. It's really bright and really cool. You can see it in the dark really well. Except it uses up a lot of power in the letters. If, well, they. NerdKit actually recommends that um, you attach it to a wall or outlet while you're um, using the backlight, but I don't really like to since, um, well, I've been having some problems with um, my adapter. I think there's some, some kind of weird thing, like the power gets, the um, polarity gets messed up, but I don't know, and it's getting annoying so I just use um, it on the batteries and um, since I use rechargeable batteries it's fine so this is a great little kit and um, it's fun I learned a lot just by reading the nerd kits guide for a few minutes and there's a lot that I that just from their videos that I learned so and also they have really great support they'll email you back instantly or well it might take a while if um, it's sort of complicated but usually they'll instantly email you back and they're very helpful so um, the support is great too 
and there's also a nerd kids forum so you can go on that and also get help but um the program is the programming is just really hard it's not because they make it hard it's because learning C is hard so well they actually start at the basics like what electricity is and they work their way up so it's good for like beginner beginner beginners like just not knowing anything about it so um I'll show you guys something hold on okay I'm gonna cut this and something I forgot to mention um I mean yeah. something I forgot to mention um is that the bottom of the breadboard there's actually it's sticky so you peel something off and then you can use the bottom of the breadboard and stick it onto something but I didn't r really want to use it up yet so um, I just used the clay that I used to make this to keep it down so yeah now I'm really gonna cut it